Hello students, today in this video we'll be covering a Lebanese biology official exercise for grade 12 SE about transgenesis. Please pay attention to read the given carefully and the given includes the title, the text, the figure. I recommend you circle the important terms and when starting to read the question, read the whole question, understand the objective and pay attention to the action verb. So this is our official exercise. Take some time to look at it and think of it. So let's do some recall before we start solving an exercise, starting with the word transgenesis. What is transgenesis? It is the process we, where we introduce an exogene. This exogene could be from a different species or a different organism of the same species. And uh, we allow this organism or the recipient to have a new phenotype. And this phenotype is transmitted to its offspring because uh, the gene would be transmitted to the offspring. So three main ideas for it to be transgenesis. We have an exogene. And this exogene is providing a new phenotype, and this phenotype is transmitted to the offspring. Some application of transgenesis in agriculture. We produce plants that are resistant to insects. We produce plants that are resistant to certain diseases. We can improve the production of a certain species. For example, we can facilitate farming in certain harsh conditions, in certain type of soil, in certain type of weather. Uh, and we can increase the growth of a certain plant. We can enhance the appearance of plants and even we can enrich the flavor of plants. It is also used to add the nutritive values to a plant. For example, we can add certain vitamins to plant. We can even create vitamin plants that are that have vaccine inside them, so we call them edible vaccines. We need to remember or to differentiate between the donor and the recipient. The donor is the organism that is going to give me the gene of interest. The recipient is the organism that's going to receive the gene of interest, integrated, يعني, put this gene into its genome and acquire a new phenotype. In this, in transgenesis, we talk about vehicle or ways of transferring or, sorry, transporting the gene of interest from the donor to the recipient. We can use artificial vectors. We can use bacterial plasmid. Plasmid is a circular DNA found naturally found in bacteria. We can use bacteria itself, for example, when we use uh, agrobacteria to infect plant cell. And we can use uh, engineered harmless virus. We also talk about a host cell or a copy machine or cloning, which is we um, have many copies of our gene of interest. And for this, we can use a bacteria where we reinsert the recombinant plasmid into a bacteria, or we can use a yeast cell where we reinsert the recombinant plasmid into the yeast cell, or we can simply use plants. So back to the exercise, uh, we are having a loss in the corn plants and that's because they are being damaged by the larval insects, specifically the larva of uh, pyrel. To solve this problem, they use transgenesis uh, procedure where they produce corn Bt plants that are resistant to uh, pyrel larva without the need of using insecticides. So uh, what happened is that they used bacterium Bt. Bacterium Bt has uh, uh, a a gene that codes for a protein, which is an insecticide protein that kills insects. So what they did is the following. They extracted the plasmid of this bacteria Bt, and they extracted the gene of interest after they uh, done multiplication of the gene, and then they inserted in the corn cell. To insert, it, to insert the gene of interest in the corn cells, we have two procedures. We can simply use a gene gun, and yes, a gene gun is what you've just imagined now. It is a gun, and instead of the bullet, uh, or instead of the bullet, we are going to have uh, the DNA of interest. And of course, the DNA is going to be coated. Uh, um, uh, um, they use actually a gold coat uh, 
uh, layer to code the DNA of interest. What happens is that as just you press on the uh, just as you press on the gun, this DNA is going to be inserted in the corn cell. The good part is that it's a simple technique. Um, what's not uh, very good about it is that we can't be sure that the gene of interest is being inserted. Uh, uh, in the uh, nuclear DNA, it could be inserted in the mitochondrial DNA, or it could be inserted in uh, the um, uh, chloroplast DNA, or, or or even it could cause uh, modification to the corn cell, leading to problem in the corn cell. So the other uh, technique is using agrobacteria with tumor inducing plasmid. So here we're gonna use another bacteria. This agrobacteria. Um, uh, naturally uh, has a plasmid. This plasmid is going to cause tumor into the plant cell. So by modulating this plasmid of the agrobacteria, here we're talking about a different bacteria, different from the Bt bacteria, we can modify its plasmid uh, to prevent it from causing tumor, but uh, still using it to infect the corn cell. So using this agrobacteria, we can infect the corn cell with the gene of interest. Then we are going to allow uh, the cells to, uh, uh, we're going to culture the cells, putting them in a culture medium to produce more cells. If you look at this culture, we can notice five cells. Uh, three that contains this blue part and the blue part is the gene of interest while the two other cells don't contain the gene the gene of interest so to avoid growing cells that doesn't contain the gene of interest we're gonna uh, select the cells that contain the gene of interest to do this we can use uh, antibiotic resistant genes so while introducing the gene of interest into the corn cells, we're going to introduce another gene along with that gene, which is antibiotic resistant gene. And then we're going to grow all the cells in an antibiotic culture. Antibiotic is kill, going to kill all the cells except for the cells that are able to resist the antibiotic. And these cells will have the gene of interest along with the uh, antibiotic resistant gene so we will end up having or growing only the uh, cells that contain the gene of interest or we can say the transgenic cells of course this culture medium is going to contain nutritive material and uh, plant hormones to allow growth of the plant cells so we will end up having uh, a corn bt plants that are resistant to the pyral larva So solving the questions, we have to indicate, indicate is a simple answer, I need to indicate uh, the cause that leads to the loss, and I need to indicate the donor, and I need to indicate the receiver, and I need to indicate the enzyme involved in extraction of the gene of interest, and then I need to justify why will I consider these corn Bt plants as, are, uh, as transgenic. So the cause of uh, the loss in the corn plants is damage by larval insects, uh, insect known as larva of uh, pyrals. And the donor is the bacteria Bt because uh, I don't say the plasmid. The donor is an organism and the organism in this case is the bacteria because the bacteria over here is providing the gene of interest, which is in this case a gene that codes for a protein uh, insecticide. Who is the uh, recipient? The recipient is the corn plant. What is the enzyme that I use? I use restriction enzyme. Restriction enzymes are enzymes naturally found in bacteria. They are the biological scissors that are going to cut the DNA in precise uh, places. Why would I consider this Bt plant as uh, a transgenic? Because it contains a foreign gene, and this foreign gene was uh, uh, isolated from a different species from the bacteria and it was integrated into the DNA of the corn plant allowing the corn plant to have a new phenotype. The new phenotype here was uh, being resistant to insect and this was transmitted to the offspring. We noticed that we have many plants that are Bt resistant plants. So whenever we are asked to prove if this organism is transgenic, we're going to focus on these ideas. It should have a foreign gene, also called transgene or an exogene, either from a different species or from a different organism from the same species. It's going to produce a new phenotype and this uh, gene is transmitted to the offspring, so the offspring will have the same phenotype. Now the second part of this exercise is the following, so please read the question. 
Okay, so we are checking the mortality rate of the uh, pyrrole's uh, larva and uh, we're, con we're checking this mortality rate in two types of corn plants, a transgenic corn plant and another non-transgenic corn plant but with, uh, that was treated with an insecticide. So we're seeing uh, how many uh, pyrrole's are dying in these two different plants and the results are shown in the document here. The question is show that uh, using transgenesis to fight pyrroles is more effective than using insecticide. And then the other uh, question five is justify why cultivating corn in Bt plants contributes to protection of the environment. To start with, shows that is an action verb where we have to use logical reason and then answer. And when using the logical reason, the best way to use logical reason is to link the cause to its result and try to find uh, uh, an, a, a relation between them. To do this, we can use compare and analyze or compare or analyze. So what we did is the following, or the answer is the following. We've noticed that the mortality rate of uh, pyrroles is 100% in transgenic Bt corn plants, greater than the 70% in the non-transgenic corn plant treated with insecticide. 100 is greater than 70, so this shows that transgenesis is more effective than using insecticide. Instead of this, I could have used the uh, analysis term, like I could have used the mortality rate is 100% in Bt corn plants. This uh, rate decreases to 70, and non-transgenic corn plant treating with insecticides, so this shows that transgenesis is more effective than using insecticides. Where are the benefits of using transgenic corn plant? First, they're going to ensure uh, better protection of corn plants. We've noticed that 100% of the pyrroles are going to die, so all the pyrrole larva is going to die, so I'm going to ensure a full protection for the corn plant. And because I'm not using insecticides, and because insecticides are pollutants, so I will be reducing pollution. So transgenesis in this exercise is beneficial for two ways, or for two things, because it uh, protects uh, more corn plant and because it avoids pollution. Thank you so much. Hope you enjoyed this video. Stay tuned and there are going to be other videos uh, explaining more about transgenesis. Stay tuned.